Hi, everybody. I am back. In case you missed it, I've been taking a break from skateboarding. I kept falling and doing things that were getting me hurt and battered and bruised all the time. I had a vacation, and so I decided to kind of take that as a way to fully rest my body and take some time off. And so now I'm back with my first day just in the garage and I did my warmups and my stretches and now I'm just cruising around the garage, just doing kick turns, getting back on the board. This is the kind of thing I need to do more often is warm up very slowly, just cruise around, even if it's just in the garage instead of diving right into things. Over the break, I think one of the things I lose the most is manuals. My manuals were terrible and they took a whole bunch of tries and I just had no feel for them. But eventually I finally did battle for one or two manuals and a nose manual across the garage. So now we're getting into just the basic, uh, regular seven basic tricks. And I started with the ollie, of course, and that's just kind of as a way to warm up. My ollies are pretty terrible. Then I went into frontside 180s. And on this day, I also wanted to make sure that I didn't just do them one time. I'm going for three of each. So I got three frontside 180s there, and I get three backside 180s here. And the most encouraging thing about these is that I did all three of these in a row, and that was really cool and super encouraging to know that I still have those and I didn't miss a bunch. Uh, Shove-its were a little bit of a mix. I got them, but I missed a few as well and almost killed myself on a primo there. But overall, not too bad. That shove it finally got a little bit of pop, and the third one wasn't great, but it's a land. Front shove was a problem. This trick just felt like I've never done it before, so I need to get back to front shoves and practice them a lot. So getting these three, and they're sketchy, and they're not great... The three that I got, I, I had to fight really hard for. There were a lot of misses that you're not seeing here. But I finally got through three of those. Then it's on to heel flip, and I wanted to start with one stationary because it's been a while, and I was really encouraged that that was first try. That was good. Then I got to get some rolling, and the first rolling heel flip I did was a land, but I landed really heavy on the tail, and that's how I broke a board not long ago. Then I think I missed one or two, and that's all right. Heel flips have been pretty fickle in the recent uh, months as well, so just to get a couple of them kind of right off the bat was really good. And then finally, I do get a third one here that's a lot better than the other two. And finally, we have the kickflip, and I was, again, really encouraged that even though it's super sketchy, got the first one, first try, so that's really great. And then rolling, we got another one, and in total, the kickflips only took four tries to get three kickflips, and that's crazy. That's awesome that my kickflips are that, getting that consistent. They're still not great kickflips, high quality or anything, but they're there. Then since I got through my mission of getting through the basics three times each, I went on to some other things. That's a switch front 180. And on these, I was just going to get one of each of these because this was just bonus type material. So switch front 180, switch back 180, even though that, that one was really sketchy. There's a half cab. That one I had to fight for a little bit to get one that actually popped. And that's fakie front 180. Then I only had two 180s to go, so I was going to do the Nolly ones, and I'm really bad at these, but Nolly front 180 wasn't too bad. These almost never get any pop, and this one going backside was actually a little bit of pop. At least the tail hit the ground. And then fakie shoves. That one I almost lost my balance but held on to it. Fakie front shove. Not too bad. Almost ran over the camera. And then nollie shoves. I love nollie front shove. That's one of my favorite tricks just to do in general. And then that's the regular nollie shove. Accidentally almost went into manual there, so I had to redo it and get a cleaner one. Didn't pop it, but it was a good land. And then at the end of day one, I was feeling really good after landing all this stuff and super encouraged by the fact that I still could. And I was going for a fakie flip, and I got super close pretty quick. It took a few minutes, took a little bit of a battle, but we did get one. I will take, I will take. So on day two, I went through some basics again, but I did change it up a little bit. Um, on my backside 180s, I wanted to do the sliding version because I need practice at that and that'll help me get better at backside flip eventually. So I got a couple of them that weren't too bad. 
Then on this day, the heel flips left me. It was really weird, heel flips disappeared. But I accidentally did this weird thing where I got closer to an inward heel because I scooped it a bit. So then I started actually trying to do inward heel on purpose. And I had some interesting results. This is just the start of trying something new, but I was getting the board to spin, but not flip. And maybe in the future I'll work on these more because it would be a really awesome trick to have. And it was just kind of fun to play with and try something new. But like I said, I was just messing around with that. So then I went back to a couple of kick flips and got a couple that weren't too bad. Uh, again, not a lot of pop, but decent landings, pretty clean. So then from there, I wanted to go into trying backside flip. And that one right there was second try. We're not far. Crazy. And I was really encouraged with these that after a break, I can still get this close. Oh, it doesn't count, but it's encouraging. I never did really land any, but again, the fact that I can get this close after a big break and not practicing these is really encouraging. Oh, so bad, so bad. Ugh. All the toe touches in the world. Ooh. So you know I'll be working more on those in the future because I'd love to get backside flip as something I can do a little more consistently. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.